Hello, my friend. Welcome to Red Hot with Sergio. Let me ask you this question. Is the art world going crazy or what? Welcome to Red Hot with Sergio. What's on my plate today? Well, you guessed it. It's a lean start of my day today. Not my typical breakfast. As you know, I like something heavier than just a banana <laughs> duct tape to my plate. But anyway, you have seen all the talk that's happening, you know, around social media, around the art spheres, Everybody is talking about, you know, this incident and uh, or this whole story, not an incident, this whole story around, you know, the artist who taped a banana at Art Basel, Miami, and then it sold by the gallery and so on. And then, um, you know, the artist who came and did a performance and ate it. And uh, again, and the saga continues uh, evolving day by day. But, you know, so is the art world going crazy? That's the question that a lot of artists are talking about. And, and I see the discussions and the arguments. Is it art? Is it not art? Is this art or not? I'm not going to talk about is this art or not. I think that's something that you decide on your own. Uh, there's already many people talking about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it. That's what I'm going to do. But uh, I want to, more than anything, talk about the art world, right? This art world that we see in the news, this art world that continues to pop up in our heads and our minds on the different things that we do as artists. And um, here's the thing, my friend. Our world has always been crazy. It's, this is nothing new. Uh, for those of us who've been artists for a long time and have, you know, uh, looked at the history of art and so on, you know that this is nothing new. This this has happened before. This will continue to happen in different ways, in, in different forms. Stories like this will come and go, uh, like anything else. And uh, you know, sometimes it leaves a, a bad taste for many people. And and rightly so, right? You know, how could something like this be worth so much money? But uh, it's more than that. It's more than a banana, right? It's about the whole thing that happened. It's about the whole story behind. It's about the, you know, the the world in which we live in today, in which, you know, the way I look at it from a distance is uh, everything that happened, you know, took place because uh, the world in which we have now, right? Where the, a story so ridiculous like this becomes really quickly, you know, an an international <laughs> a headline because the shareability of it, right? And that's the world in which we live today. Everybody has a cell phone and everybody's cell phone, you know, has a network and you put a picture and we have thousands of pictures, thousands of people doing the same thing. And there's a story so crazy behind it. So it gets shared so quickly and you know, all these things, it's great marketing, all these things happen um, because everything was lined up to to happen perfectly, right? I mean, the, the banana sold during the VIP opening, that's when the big buyers are there. Uh, the gallery released the price of the artwork that has sold, so that, you know, pushed the story to the news outlets, you know, how crazy that was. And then now people wanted to come and take a picture of it, right? Everybody was curious, the, the curiosity of the thing, right? So all these things had to line up. And I don't know if you know this, but the art gallery officially opened an Instagram page for banana memes and pictures. <laughs> the, you know, it's, it's operated by the gallery and you can find it on Instagram. So, you know, they're also using this whole social media machine, right, to make it more important to make it part of being an, an iconic image, um, uh, you know, as part of, of global phenomena. And it only happens because, again, the, the power of social media today, where a story like this in 24 hours can become a world headline. My friend, what I really want to talk about is, is the art world um, that you see, that you envision, that you see in the news, is that the art world that, uh, you know, that, that that you are part of, that you think that you are part of, or that are we are part of. And the more I think about it, my friend, is that the art world has spheres. You know, there are many spheres to the art world. The things that we see in the news, like what we saw there in our Basel, I mean, that's the top sphere of the art world, right? The, that's where the 1% lives. That's where, uh, you know, these big amounts of money are exchanged sometimes for ridiculous things like a banana. But uh, you know, there are, that's not the whole art world. You cannot judge the whole art world by, by one story, right? There are so many amazing artists and galleries and things that don't get, you know, the headlines uh, that, you know, these stories do get because of their shareability value and their shock value and, you know, um, that 
are actually amazing stories, amazing artists, amazing galleries, amazing collectors that are out there working every day. And at the end of the day, my friend, the way I look at it and the way I have talked about this before in Breakfast with Sergio, you've been watching for a while, is that at the end of the day, it's us building our own art world. Really the art world, to me the art world, is not the art world that I read in the news like this, but the art world that I build with the people that surround me, the people that connect with me. That's my art world. That's my art world. So, you know, when I look at the art world, I look at different spheres, right? There's, there's all these spheres. My sphere um, is the people that I connect with, right? The galleries I have worked with, the curators I have worked with, the audience that's behind me, that uh, I connect with. You are part of my art world, right? And that's really what matters to me, right? I'm not trying to cater to an art world that's out there that's um, maybe crazy or not, but uh, that it's an illusion, but rather, you know, to the real people that I connect with. And I think when we as artists, we continue working, we continue uh, growing our audience, connecting with our audience and in an honest way, and you bring people around your work, around what you do, because by you're sharing your art, you're sharing your stories, putting yourself out there, you create your art world. And that's the really art world that matters to me. And that maybe that's a way for you to think about it as you look at stories like this. And maybe you get disappointed and maybe you get frustrated and maybe you, you get discouraged. And I know, you know, stories like this sometimes make some artists give up. And at the end of the day, my friend, again, you know, don't, don't get discouraged by it. Don't, don't judge the whole art world by one story. Rather, build your own art world, right? Now we have, we all have the same accessibility. We all have the same platform, which is this social media. Use that to build your story, to share your story, to build your own art world. And that's really what's going to make the whole difference in your art career, no matter what other stories you read and you see. Because like I said, this is just one that has happened. There'll be many, many more coming along the way. So as crazy as this one as well. So I encourage you to do that, my friend. And you know, build your business, build your own business, build your own business that is sustained by the career that you build, right? Uh, and that's very important. And if you need help, my friend, building your art business in 2020, which is a great time to get started again, I invite you to check out my challenge. I'm gonna do a challenge that's called the Art Business Growth Challenge. And if you have never taken the time to really look at your business and building your own audience and continue uh, building your art world, your own art world, um, then check it out. All you have to do is go to www.theartistnextlevel.com right slash 2020. That way you can see uh, and read all about it. You can sign up there. We started in January. It's going to be super cool, super awesome. So I hope you have a great day. I want to eat this awesome banana and uh, enjoy this. And I think I'm going to have more breakfast after this because this is not enough for me. <laughs> have a great day, my friend. See you later. Goodbye.